Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to P-Dubs Arcade Loft, where we always appreciate it when you hang out upstairs with us. On today's episode, just got a really quick express tutorial video for you on how you can update your third-party developer applications on the At Games Legends Ultimate platform. The first update came in for the first application, Pixel Kate X. Okay guys, we're back. Now, a lot of us, or maybe you're not familiar with, there's a lot of these Facebook fan groups or fan pages for all these particular companies and products and things like that. Well, one of the fan pages is the At Games, the official At Games Legends Ultimate Tutorials page, which is a kind of like a community help page where everybody just helps each other figure out how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this on my At Games Legends Ultimate? It's a sister page to the global At Games fan page. You definitely want to join both pages. I'll have links in the video description below. Earlier tonight on the tutorials page, I posted this quick video showing folks how easy it is to update your third party applications as well as what the first update was. Now what's really cool is this is a pretty basic, simple update, but what's exciting is the fact that there are more updates to come. If you recall on my Pixel Kate X video that came out uh, a little while ago, which I'll have a link in the video description below as well for that, if you want to check that out. The Pixel Kate X marquee, which you see that blink in there behind me on top of the Ek Games Legends Ultimate, it's going to have a lot of updates, guys. We're going to have animated marquees, high resolution marquees, all kinds of cool things being added, potential to have our leaderboard scores, leaderboard games and things displayed on there, and many, many more. All right, guys, so really quickly, here's the video that I posted on the tutorials page. Make sure you join the tutorials page if you're interested in watching the full video. We'll kind of give you an abridged version here, kind of a recap as to what this is all about. So with our third-party developer applications, um, as you can see here, we have our Pixelcade turned on, our Pixelcade X program. We're on 3D tic-tac-toe, and the marquee displays 3D tic-tac-toe. What we want to do is we want to go and see if any updates have been made to the flash drive x or the pixel kate x program you just navigate it to the settings menu and when you're in the settings menu it's going to be right there in front of you and what's really cool is you don't have to wait for firmware updates these third-party developer applications pixel kate x is the first but there's more third-party developer applications about to be announced and coming soon and what's really cool is if they happen to update or send out an update, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes these updates can go through and be pushed through without there actually being a firmware update by At Games. In particular, this particular update that I'm about to show you does not require a firmware update. You can go ahead and just get this going. All you have to do is make sure that your, uh, fl your flash drive with flash drive X is plugged in on the left port. Your Pixelcade is plugged in on the right port navigate over to download and when you click on download it'll download any update that the developer has pushed out for this particular third-party application so it's downloading right now and yes this might seem pretty basic pretty simple but there's a lot of folks out there who are visual learners who like to see this stuff and sometimes seeing it is better than reading it once it finishes downloading we'll activate it Okay, it went ahead and it finished, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit start because we want to turn on our Pixel Kate X. For Pixel Kate X, there's a 10 second delay. Uh, it'll cycle through the default uh, Pixel Kate, uh, kind of like the uh, random displays until it actually launches. And once it'll flip to black and it'll tell you on the screen that it started and here's our first update. They've added a welcome message. Now it says, welcome to Pixel Kate X. And we have our first animated marquee. We have our Legends Ultimate logo with some nice little animated sparkles on it. Doesn't seem like much, but what this tells us is that uh, Al, as promised earlier, we're gonna get our animated marquees, our high res images, as well as possibly leaderboards and things all added to the Pixel Kate X program. And this is the first one, small update that just came out with mega updates coming soon. So very, very exciting stuff here. It's very basic and this will work if there are, let's just say down the road, we have seven flash drive X programs or um, 
third-party developer programs. When you click that download button, it's going to download updates for every single one. As you can see, guys, that was a pretty, pretty simple update. Yes, 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 it may have looked too easy, but guess what? Some folks are visual learners. I'm a visual learner, and reading and people telling me things never really makes things click. That's why I love it when someone just shows me. So hopefully some of you found this beneficial, and don't worry, the really saucy, the really exciting, and the really sexy updates for the Pixel Kdex uh, program, as well as all the other third-party developer applications are just around the corner. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I cover a lot of at game stuff on this channel, so you don't want to miss it. And by all means, guys, I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks for hanging out upstairs with us.